Hello world, and welcome back to Knights of Pen and Paper. Um, so I don't actually remember what happened last time, but what I do know is I have been doing a bunch of leveling and grinding between episodes. As you can see, I only have this two missions left. Three missions left, and that's because these two are out of my level. High out of my level. And I've also been leveling a bit. As you can see, most of my guys are level 14, except for my warrior who's a scrub. But that doesn't matter, because right now, it's time to continue with our journey to the village. Travel to journey vi- oh, it's not journey to the village, it's journey village. Alright, well where is it? Where can one find this journey- journey village? Right there! There we go! Alright, here we are, journey village. Now let's see, it's got a blacksmith, which is actually something I have done. I've upgraded a couple weapons. It is pretty expensive though, and the success rate is not high. So, I am a little cautious to do it, but at the same time, it can be worth it. Let's try it. See, it was a failure there. Uh, let's not try again. What's this up do? You don't have a grindstone. Alright, where can I get a grindstone? Well, I'm stumped, so... In that case, let's just continue on with the quest. See, now... He's almost leveled up to 15, and my warrior's still barely at 14, so... This is going to be a bit of a challenge to get him up to the same. You spot a woman that has a certain sadness on her face. You try talking to her to see what's going on. Sup, bitch? <laughs> Hello, adventure. It is my brother. He was killed a while ago. Well, can't help you there. It's done, it's done. There's a mage that everyone says is trying to perform a forbidden ritual. It looks like it, this is a part of the ritual. Anyway, it looks... He loved those sand roses that spread all over the deserts of... Sands of time? I can't really gather any of them because it's too dangerous. We can do it. Away. See, now what I like about this is with Ramona's plus one, I literally can't fail. Literally can't, cannot. I roll a one, and it brings me up to two, and I don't fail. Alright, collect five sand roses. Alright, let's go with one of you. Ooh, ooh, I like those guys. Um, let's go with one of you also. He looks scary. Let's add a couple more of these drones. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. Alright, and something else I found out is that you can actually tell the order that things attack by these numbers. I didn't know, I didn't know that before. Alright, Ramona, blast them. Oh, they resist magic. Hmm, that is a problem. Let's weaken these guys. Alright, and now let's double strike this guy to take him out. Now Ramona, let's try fireball on this, because he's the only one that doesn't resist damage. Not damage, doesn't resist magic, that is. These guys I got a physical attack, which is weird for sand, but okay. Uh, no. Let's kill something else. Let's try this guy. Not quite. Alright, Meteor. Blast. That's two down, two left, both are weakened. Let's cleave him. Alright, Rogue. Hit him. And that's him down, so now let's just kind of whack at him. Problem solved! Alright, how many sand roses did I get from that? Two sand roses. But it looks like my guys have taken quite a beating, so extend a rest. And with that, I am not attacked. Because I actually did get attacked a couple times while I was resting. I found out that you get attacked. Up we go. Now let's go battle some more. No. Those guys are resistant to my magic. And my magic is my heavy hitter. Let's go three of you, and a Sarlacc. Yeah. Yeah, let's go Sarlacc! Oh god, it's right, I forgot. They're stun immune. Alright, Meteor Blast! Alright, now... Let's weaken these three. And then cleave those same three. Now you double strike on this guy, because I want him dead. Sarlax are scary bastards. And let's fireball... no, Meteor. Never doubt the Meteor. And you, K 
can restore him. And now you can cleave these three. And let's see if this is enough. Nope, nowhere near. It still has quite a bit of health left. Oh god! Okay, what's... Hmm. Well, he's gonna die on his next turn. Looks like there's nothing I can do about that. Sorry, mate. You're a goner. Oh, no. Oh, oh, now he is. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button by accident and he died. Whoops. It's okay, though. I have... Well, there's the rest of my sand roses. And I have enough to resurrect him. There we go. And now I can complete that quest. Travel back to Journey Village. And... Oh, no, I'm not attacking the way. I thought that said seven, not two. I wish to know other places. Well, too bad. Thank you so much. You have some difficulty finding the woman's brother's grave. The description she gave you was not good enough. Maybe you should look in the Sands of Time Desert. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. And what is that? Looks like a floating pyramid. Oh god, it's the Sarlacc. Oh, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Not as bad as I thought it would be at all. In fact, I dare say... It's rather easy. Because I just... End dead. Easy. One lesser mana potion. All of a sudden, you step on something rigid. You look down to see the inscription, Woman's Brother's Grave. Well, well that's right on the nose. You place the sand roses on his grave and hear a strange sound. Roll check. The grave trembles. You step aside. You're all terrified by the loud sound. You woke me up. Thanks. I never knew my name. I shall return home to talk to my sister. Wait, how? I got cursed by the black mage. I remember someone was controlling me and then I was put to sleep like I was dead. You woke me up when I brought that sand rose to my grave. It remembered me. It reminded of my sister and awakened me. Interesting. Interesting indeed. In that case, let's head back. I missed everything they just said, but it doesn't matter. I'm not going to be attacked on the way anyway. But when I get here, most likely. You've arrived at the... You heard to listen question mark story. Hey, blank. We have to come to find out what happened. Hello again. Are you ready for a story? Oh, God. Everyone get comfortable. Story time! It all began some nights ago. A powerful mage tried to get me, the Forest Temple's guardian, who, to work with him. So the mage enchanted you. I think that was the forbidden ritual needs all the other temple artifacts. If he manages to do it, he'll be powerful enough to travel between worlds. These artifacts are known as the pen and paper artifacts. So there's two of them. I have so much to do, be careful. Alright. I'm now allied with question mark. And so, another escort quest. Great. I get stronger whenever I'm near the Forest Temple. I still feel a little bit weak because of the fight with the Black Mage. But it won't be a problem when we reach the temple. Alright, so we're going to the Forest Temple, which is way down there. Why don't we just go straight through the desert instead of going all the way back to the... Oh, yeah, this is why. Okay. Oh, well. Okay, obliterate this thing. Pune mortal. My rogue hits for the same amount normally as my warrior does, using a skill. Alright, let's travel to the jungle. Your party's being attacked, of course- Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh my! Okay! Leave these bastards in half. You don't get an attack. You all get blasted. And since you're undead, you're weak to holy. Alright, let's cleave them all again. Let's concussion you this time. And now, if I've done this right, which I have, they're all dead. Huzzah! You see the nature stream flowing through, flowing through the place, reaching the guardian and healing his wounds. I am now ready to guard the forest temple again. That was easy. Snipe? What was that? Did I just see something called a sniper amulet? Minus one th 
I want a one minus one threat. And that's all it does, so why? Battle game developers. Five guys approach you and ask. Game develop gang. What are you out doing here? Get out, this is our spot. They're not le we're not leaving, blah blah blah. We're here for the artifacts. We'll get them and travel through the worlds. Alright, so time to obliterate them. I feel like I shouldn't take them lightly, so let's see. They have a ro- what looks like a rogue? A mage. Mage is going down first. He's not getting a chance to hit. I'm not even going to let him. And after that, let's worry about the rogue. Be that is why right there. Alright, let's... How's everyone's health doing? Let's give a circle of healing. And now let's go meteor down. And double strike on you. I don't like whatever he's doing. Let's cleave. Now he should die come his turn. There we go. Now let's smite this guy. Let's meteor again. Concussion you, because I don't like what you're doing. Whatever it is. Let's cleave these two. Oh god, that's a cleric. Why did I not realize that sooner they've got the same pointy hat? Kill him now. Oh my god. Okay, he's dead. We can stop worrying now. Restore the rogue, who is currently asleep. Let's fireball you. I don't know what either of these guys are now, but I have a feeling it's bad. He's a ranger, I think. No one needs healing, so let's just hit. Ramona, fireball. Warrior. There we go. And now everyone just punch him in the face. Done! I've defeated the game developers and they gave me a carrot. Okay, you win, so you're protecting the artifacts. Indeed. That's quite interesting. We're sorry, we won't get in your way anymore. Actually, we'll join you to help you if you'd like. The, <laughs> the one ring! I got the one ring. Oh, that is amazing. That is amazing. Okay. Ramona, you're getting the one ring. Alright, and with that, I think I'm going to end the episode. If you enjoy and you want to see more of Knights in Pen and Paper, then remember to hit like, your favorite, and subscribe. Let me know you want to see it. And actually, I'm going to start looking for a fifth member of our party. So, if you want to see that, then leave in the comments what you want it to be, both species and class. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Bye!